Welcome back to the 121st episode of a close combat last stand on and playthrough with the Germans in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. With any luck, this might be our last episode. Now, we're seeing red all across the strategic map, which is good. There's only one area the enemy still is alive in, and uh, well, unfortunately, they're uh, with the armored group. Uh, not the best type of armor group, but uh, they might get more of them coming in in the future if we don't deal with them now, so... Yeah, uh, the, the thing is, we have a Panzer Brigade right there, without any remaining Panzers, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, we don't really have that much to fight this armored unit with. We're gonna give them a uh, Mortar Barrage here, and actually, we're gonna relieve the Panzer Brigade, so that the uh, Kampfgruppe 59 ID here will be, uh, will be the one leading the charge. They have this infantry gun, maybe they have some anti-tank guns as well, that would be great. We're gonna give them a mortar barrage as well. Can't give them infant, uh, artillery. And just in case the Polish drop down and drill, which they haven't done yet, we're gonna give them an artillery barrage here to help uh, fend off the landing Polish force. And uh, just keep moving these guys south. And in general, I mean, we should be able to win now. But it's quite likely we won't be. It just really depends. Uh, quite a bit on just circumstances and luck. But we're just moving all our various forces that aren't going to remain in position for potentially counter-attacking enemy airborne landings. We're going to move them to more sensible locations. We're going to put Kampfgruppe Rink on Sunheat. Uh, so there might be paradrops there, so it could be good to just secure it, we never know. Same for these guys, they've just been sitting here since they, uh, well, <laughs> came to counterattack and haven't really been doing anything. Um, so we've kind of been just holding off resources in anticipation of paradrops to just defeat them when they land immediately. It hasn't really happened a lot though. It happened like once here, I think. But, oh well. Either way, execute. There's no new green dots on the map, so uh, no paradrops. Meaning we're fighting in Valkenswald. Alright, let's do this. So we have a look at the enemy here. Uh, they have three mortar teams. I'm just, I, I don't want to hate life that much, so we're going to remove two of those. And uh, this platoon HQ can be removed. And I'm going to make myself hate life even more by giving them another Wolverine. Why not? couple of Vickers medium machine gun teams maybe. Well, rifle group as well. Vickers and rifle group. This seems like a fair setup. I'm keeping the at there since we are probably going to be using at least one half track. And they outnumber us anyway, so... whoop de doo Let's see here. We have uh, access to 7.5cm infantry gun. Which is, uh, you know, howitzer type high explosive gun, not necessarily the best for taking on enemy armor with. We have a 5cm light anti-tank gun, and a 3.7cm light anti-tank gun as well. That's all the anti-tank guns we have. And we have a serious amount of mortar teams. Uh, not that that's really going to help us though. I think we'll get the uh, anti-tank guns here for sure. Uh, combat training, so you know, they're not going to be the best teams in the whole wide world. And if we can remove these, put in four teams of MG Grenadiers and a Panzer Schreck. Maybe replace these with a MG 34 team. And we'll get the Mortar Half Track in here and another Panzer Schreck team. So I'm hoping this will be sufficient and suffice for taking on the enemy here and uh, actually defeating them. The thing is, we, we need to destroy all their armored vehicles before making any kind of counter push with our up, uh, with our infantry. Uh, so we need to keep our infantry alive to be able to uh, do that counter push later. And that really just comes down to luck. So we'll have to see if we get lucky. I'm gonna put one Panzer Schreck team there. In fact, maybe I put two. Maybe not. I'll, I'll put one there. No, I'll, I'll put two there, because uh, from past experience, I mean, there's a lot of dead tanks that we've blown up a lot over the course of the various battles, so lost a few things ourselves as well. 
Uh, well, they usually come down this road. I haven't seen them drive much in this area, so... Well, either way, I'm uh, gonna put a Grenadier team here. MG Grenadier team. And the half-track mortar team over here. One MG Grenadier team there. Light machine gun team there. And then... We can hide this uh, large gun here behind some bushes with a line of sight down here, down this road. That would be very nice. Uh, I do want to hide them fairly snugly here though, but it's look like they shoot through the trees unfortunately. Uh, okay, that might not be the best. I think this is our best... Uh, um, a best chance of taking on the enemy uh, tanks with. Even though it's an infantry gun. Just due to its caliber. And the fact that the Wolverines are open top vehicles. Either way, we'll get some more Grenadier teams in position in the trenches. Uh, yeah, we don't really have a lot of infantry to make any pushes with. So we might come to rely on the Mortar half track here at some point. Which might not be a good choice to push with either. Uh, I'm keeping it in here in the hopes that we can land a mortar shell on top of Wolverine and hit the open top area and blow it the fuck up. For several turns we have not been able to land one of those hits though. So I wouldn't be surprised if for several more turns we also will not. Uh, maybe like behind the bushes here and then yeah we got shots down this road here to some degree. I mean the Wolverines are going to be a little bit taller than the bridge I think so we should be able to shoot over and onto them. Maybe a five centimeter pack over here. Can this shoot? This can cover towards the road. And stays relatively hidden. Then the 3.7 centimeter pack. Where do we put that? Certainly not there. Hey, maybe for this building. I don't know. It could be good once Wolverine start moving around. Let's try. Right, okay, we see a Wolverine immediately. Cannot engage it though. Oh, we could. Yes! The Panzer Shrek's got him. Oh, that's not a Wolverine. Fuck. Oh, there goes that gun. Is that the big gun? Damn it. Well, either way. Hey, 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 what are you shooting at? These guys, sir. Hmm. Just infantry? I guess they might as well. Uh, now I kind of wish we had a Panzer Shrek here so we could sneak it up here and engage that Wolverine. We wouldn't be able to do that immediately, but at some point for sure. Gonna bomb that uh, Wolverine over here with mortars. At least we've taken that one. Two left to go. There's another one. Hey, we got mortar, uh, mortar strike coming in. I'm gonna see if we can do do anything to this with the anti-tank guns first, and then we'll see where I put that mortal strike. Okay, the Panzer Shrek team is firing at this Wolverine as well. I think we got a near hit. A lot of near hits. Wolverine's immobilized. Okay, but it's still working though. Right, we need these guys to fire at this team. To fend for themselves a little bit there. Uh, can we get this Wolverine with the 3.7? We hit it, but we did not go through. Hmm. It's a bit unfortunate. I mean, we keep hitting it, but it's just not really doing anything. We're even hitting in the sidearm. Angled sidearm or something. I don't know, they don't seem to notice where the 3.7 centimeter gun is, so we can just kind of keep pummeling them, I guess. And potentially move this gun a little bit, and hopefully not have it get spotted. I'm going to use the mortal strike in this, uh, I'm going to put it in between these two Wolverine cells, so it just kind of strikes in this general area here. Might hit either of them. As you can see, it reached all the way over here. So with some luck, we hit the Wolverine with it. But uh, I'm not really holding my breath for that to happen, though. Now we 
landed another hit on the Wolverine that didn't do a damn thing. At some point, it's gotta do something, right? Just relocate this gun ever so slightly. Panzer Shreks are not hitting. And I hope we get a second mortar strike. I'm not sure if we actually do get to. I tried to cheese it, but I'm not sure if it actually works. Okay, we got Wolverine movement. Stop, 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 stop. Don't be moving this gun around too much right now. Ah, yeah, no, we don't have shots. And we aren't hitting them. Do Panzer Shacks have shots, sir? No. Uh, yeah, shit's tricky. 3.7 is, uh, hmm. Really useless caliber here, apparently. I think in reality it would actually not be that bad. Just we need to get into position where these trees aren't really blocking the view that much. So. Okay, well, the motor strike is over. Oh, I think we landed something onto this Wolverine here. There's been one. Oh, beautiful. 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 Okay, two Wolverines gone. With this guy on the fence. The enemy wants a truce. We might take that at some point though. But if we can take out this Wolverine. Then we don't need to take it. And it's open top. So like there's a chance the MGs can land a killing blow on one of the guys inside of it. This thing needs to get a little bit further south or into the tree line. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Oh, right, we need to switch them off the fire over this way and hopefully hit it. Maybe the Wolverines have 50 cals on them, because that sounds pretty beefy what they're shooting with, though. Incoming! Well, we're hitting random infantry here and there, but... I don't know, they're not really moving that gun very fast. And if it gets spotted moving, then, uh, yeah, it's not really gonna be able to set up before shit goes south. If there's any indication that anything starts shooting this, I think we're just gonna take the truce, actually. Really would like to land a mortar on top of that Wolverine, it would be so sweet. Then we could actually do something here at long last. Force mall getting low. Well, I mean, will you? Oh, I, I, I gave them a waypoint on the other side of the wall, so they're planning to go all the way around. That's not really going to work for us. I need them down south here, aiming towards that Wolverine, hopefully getting a shot on it, maybe from over there or something. And hopefully not getting seen by the Wolverine before they can shoot it. I mean, I could move in the Panzer Shrek teams, but it's just a bit risky. We got it! We got it! Did we hit it with a mortar? I think we did. I think we did. Yeah, you can forget about a freaking ceasefire now. I can tell you that much. No, no, this cannon doesn't seem very effective over here. It can shoot. Oh, well, it can't shoot the damn thing, basically. Okay, we're gonna keep bombarding them with the mortars, and then we're gonna move in a few of our infantry teams once we've uh, gonna cause as many casualties as we can here. That's a good hit. Uh, a good miss, I guess we should say. Uh, yeah, they don't really want to shoot, they're running pretty low on ammo. We got some MG team over here. Yo, 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 guys, why are you calling out of that? You're safer in that trench than you are outside it. Just don't peek your heads up. Get back in the damn trench. Then we're gonna hope we can hit something over here. I really wish I had more vehicles. Uh, but the thing is, or like tanks, but... Also, there might be enemy Piat teams around, and that... is not good. Uh, that makes me a bit reluctant to move in this half track here. But it does have armor, and it does have a machine gun, so I mean, it could work. I really don't want to take a truce, I want to actually crush them. Wait, is that a dead Piat team? Okay, so they have one more Piat team then. Unless it's dead somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. 
I don't know. I do not know. But I do know there was a lot of stuff going on right there. And, uh, running low on MG ammo with these guys and humble rounds left. Yeah, humble rounds could be enough. Stop saying Feuer Eingestell every time I fucking tell you to shoot. Holy hell. Alright, we're out of mortal ammo. There's no real point in saving it. Get away. Uh, we're gonna move the uh, Ganadera MG team up here. Another up there. And. Okay, we need to get suppressor fire down in that brand group ASAP. Uh, did we kill it? Not entirely. Okay, moving in this Grenadier team as well. Moving in this guy, and once he's in position, he'll cover out a little bit. And we can move up these Grenadiers a little bit as well, I believe. I don't feel safe about moving this light machine gun team in, but... Well... Ah, right, there we go, that's another brand team uh, guy. Looks like it's the last one. So if we can actually get some rifle and MG fire on that. Kill that guy, please. Yes, we are indeed incoming. Alright, put this guy in the fan, and hopefully they will use the machine gun for something uh, sensible. And we have another 11 minutes to make something happen here, and I really would like to just push them off the map right now. It's not easy, but it is potentially doable. That brand group is gone. I wonder if these guys can shoot smoke. No, they smoke grenades seemingly. Oh, okay then. Uh, put him on ambush here, maybe. Or defend. Alright, okay. I'll move these Grenadier teams over the wall. Try to get on these guys. I uh, really would like to know where the Piat team is, but I don't, so... Alright, we're taking uh, some casualties in here. We do have smoke grenades on this. I could have actually launched those out. That might be the Piat team, not sure. Okay, it's only smoke towards though, it, it probably is the PF team then. Could be anyway. Okay, put him on the fence here, we got MGs up in the face, MG42s. That's just really not something you want up in your face. I'm gonna try my luck a little bit with the Panzer Shrek teams. If they can move in here safely now, then we can also move in this MG team. Which currently does not have an MG. Yeah, we have a PF team, it's right there, right there. Can we get that PF team before it blows up a damn, uh, damn halfback out, please? Guys, let's get the PFs, please. They're missing so far, but we need shots on them. Okay, seemingly we can move the Panzer Shrek teams in. So we'll move in these guys as well, just to have more rifles there. Uh, these guys, well... For the trash teams to be moving in with. Can we get this guy? Like, what is he like hiding inside the tank there or something? I think yes, I think he's using the Wolverine there. Hiding inside of it. But how can he peek up and shoot without getting shot that back? No clue. Seems a bit silly. Okay, we got the PS. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, moving this Grenadier team up a little bit, we're just going to get everything in on this. I wish I could tell this uh, gun crews to leave the damn guns, grab a rifle and get in on this, so... Gonna move this guy up a little bit though. Hope that at least enough people in this uh, mortar half-track survive to be getting to the victory location. Then we're going to try to take the victory location. Finally we see these guys, so now we can give them hell. Which I will also with... The mortal half track, I guess not. I'm right, just gonna tell them to go there. Are they immobilized? Why are they not moving? Hey, why the hell are you guys moving back? Yeah, they can forget about that truce. I'll tell you that much. We are going in. I want them dead. These guys shoot out at her at all from her. Not very effectively, but it's... Oh, they have SMGs, okay. Something shooting this LMG team as well. Okay, 
Okay, well, if we can just get this thing onto this. We don't even need to capture it. We just need to halfway take it. So if you could move, please. I mean, the driver should be safe inside the damn vehicle. So can you just drive? That's all you need to do. Just get moving. Get moving. Why are they not moving? Or shooting? They can turn the damn thing, so obviously it still works. What the hell? Okay, the Panzer Shrek. Um, SMGs. Alright, we move up another, uh, another little ticket here with them. Maybe they can get in range to engage something. But I'm seeing a PF team here that still has people alive in it. That needs to die. Or am I? No, that might have been my team. Not sure. Okay, grenades are going out, and it's not for my Panzer Shrek dudes, so. I don't know. No, that PF team is dead. It was my team I was seeing. I just said AT and something like this. this. I was seeing it down here. Uh, can we move this fucking vehicle? Do I need to waypoint it like this? There is your route. Go, 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 go. Can't reach that, but just go. However you need to get to do it to get there. Just go. Just go. Please just go. Or shoot these guys or something. Do something. What's the chance you think we can actually take this damn building here? I'm gonna try. I am going to try. Grenades going out. This will be from here. Why are we not on that though? Okay, we lost those guys. Both of them actually. So if we're not if we're not winning now, that's actually quite terrible. And yeah, this infantry down here as well, we can't make this push. I really need you to just fucking drive this goddamn vehicle to this fucking point right there. There's good clearing, you can do it. You can fucking do it, so go do it. Okay, okay, you know what, actually, if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to smoke out a lot fast and then just push the infantry into it. Can you from there? Can you waypoint it now? Come on, we have five minutes to make this work somehow. So make this work somehow. Come on, you're doing it, you're doing it. Good fucking shit. Grenades are coming out, that's not good. That's not good. Please do not immobilize my vehicle. Now they are manning the machine gun. Imagine that. It's a possible... Fuck. Fuck. They got us with a grenade. Now we can't even smoke properly. Fucking hell. Fuck and double fuck and fuck some more. Fuck. Oh, just absolute fuck. God damn it. What's up with these guys? Take over on the damn uh, crater there or something. We're gonna run. We're gonna run straight towards this and we're gonna try to take that fucking Victor location. Go, 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 go. And please do not stop for anything. We just need to be there. We, we just need to be there. We don't even need to fully take it. If we halfway take it, it's good enough. And then we take the truce, and then we win. Come on, go, go, go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Pe push, 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 push. Do not stop. If you get shot, I don't give a shit. Keep moving, keep moving. Go, 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 go. Keep fucking moving. Go, go, go. You're almost there. Yes, truce. Ah, ha, ha. Motherfuckers. Finally. End of game. There you have it. That's it, or that's a bit anticlimactic. But there you go. 121 episodes it took. That's a lot more. That's almost 50 more than with the Allied playthrough. Whew, I'm honestly happy to be done with this, because it was getting a little bit tedious, though. It was just a lot of the same maps being, like, fought on over and over again. One thing this game could do better is uh, make more of the maps actually be used. But, I mean... It makes sense that they aren't, I guess. Either way, let's look at the overall details of the entire Grand Campaign here. So, 279 of our men were killed during the uh, 121 episodes. And we killed 1,043 enemies. 523 were wounded in action. And by wounded in action, I believe we mean incapacitated, aka not fighting anymore in this war. Uh, to the enemies, 1,880. So our ratio is pretty good there. Armor, we've lost 15. 
most of them have been lost just due to running out of fuel or having a little bit of a scratch on the paint and then they decided it's best to just dump it in the river and stop using it. You know, because that makes sense. Uh, to the enemies, 38 tanks that we've taken out. Uh, some of them also due to fuel. Four of them due to lack of fuel. Uh, most of our tanks definitely lost due to lack of fuel or just bullshit primarily like uh, slightly immobilized from like a track getting detached as if that's so freaking hard to fix anyway we've lost 15 vehicles that probably makes sense we've lost a few half tracks throughout the campaign here huh? the enemy 13 we've lost six guns only six okay and we've destroyed four that's actually not correct because we've taken out way more guns than that it's just we've killed the crews and damaged the guns, which damaging the guns doesn't actually show up as damaged guns on the uh, result screen. Or I don't, I don't even know. It's, it's weird. But uh, there might be like a video coming up now, so brace yourselves for that. No, there wasn't. Well, there was when I played with the, uh, with the allies. Okay, well, that's just doubly anticlimactic. Just end of game. That that's it. That that's all I get. After all this, that's all I get. Wow, not even a video. What the fucks me? Uh, what the fuck, Matrix? Either way, I'm happy to be done with this playthrough, and. Uh, well, I'm going to be making some more close combat playthroughs in the future for sure. I'm kind of thinking modern tactics next, but we'll see. Uh, in time, I'm planning on covering them all. So, all the official releases anyway. Then maybe i jump into some mods. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. If you did, I would appreciate if you would leave a like on this video and, well, maybe watch some more if you haven't already or whatever. It's, you know, if, if you feel like, of course. Also, would not mind if you would... Uh, if you like subscribing to my channel, that would be appreciated as well. And, uh, well, with that being said, well, shit, you can catch me in the next playthrough, I guess. Have a good one.